Hello, welcome to By Excellence Tutorials with me, the By Excellence Tutor. Happiness is understanding physics. So today we are going to solve the question under units and measurements. Um, that should be one of the first uh, chapters or topics that uh, you cover in physics. So this question is saying how many grams of copper are required to make a hollow silicon shell having an inner radius of 5.7 centimeter and an outer radius of 5.75 centimeters. Take the density of copper to be 8.92 gram per cubic centimeter. So I would love to illustrate this as in um, we have a situation like this one. Let's say this is a silicon. Assume that this is silicon, please. Okay. And then we have uh, the, the the center there. We have the center there. And then from the center. Okay. So I'd say this is radius one and this is radius two. And then What we are looking for is the mass for this surface. Okay, I want you to follow me closely. Okay, so this is a silico shell. So at the center, there is nothing. At the center, there is nothing. There is just a hole. But we want the mass of this green part, the part that I've, I've labeled the green. So that's what we want to find. So for us to be able to find the mass of that, we need to be able to find the, the, the volume of this green part, of this uh, uh, hollow silico shell. So how do we find the volume? So we know that this, uh, we've been told that it's a, it's a silico shell and the spheres have got a, their own formulas on how to find volume. So we know that the volume for a sphere is given by four stage are cubed. Okay, so that's the volume of uh, the sphere. So now we have two radius. So it's like we get the volume of the outer sphere and subtract the volume of the inner sphere from the volume of outer sphere. That's what we are going to do basically. So we are going to have the final volume of the shell being equal to volume two minus volume one. That will give us the volume of this green part. So what is going to be different here is actually the radius. So we are going to have four said factored out, and then we have the radiuses, the, the difference of radiuses, okay? So now, <clears throat> We can go on to plug in our values of which we have four said by, and then the, the outer part is our, our R2, which is 5.75 cubic centimeter. And our inner radius is five, Point seven, so we we cube that. So once we we do that, we punch on the calculator. Okay. 
here. And this part gives us 4.916375 cubic centimeter. And then we multiply by the fourth edge. And then we also multiply by a pi. And we get the volume of the shell to be uh, 20.59 cubic centimeter. So this is the volume that we have found. And then now we, we, can, we can use this volume now to, to find the mass of uh, the shell. So we know that uh, density is given by mass out of volume. So the mass, meaning mass, is going to be density times volume, of which density we've been given 8.92 gram per cubic centimeter. Then we multiply it with the volume that we have found, which is 20.59 cubic centimeter. So if you punch that on the calculator, we are going to have uh, the mass of 183.7 grams. So that would be the mass that uh, you'll be required to, or that will be the mass of the, the, the shell with that volume that we have found. Okay, so that's how you, you calculate, uh, you solve that question. So if you have not uh, subscribed to the YouTube channel, kindly do so, subscribe, invite others, and make sure you hit the uh, notification bell so that you get notified each and every time I post a new video. And the next video will be also on units and measurements. So it's a series of videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.